It is glorious weather at the moment uh, on the islands of Antigua and Barbuda. And starting tomorrow, these Caribbean islands will require visitors to at least be partially vaccinated against COVID. Travellers must also take a PCR test within four days of flying to the Caribbean. It follows a blockbuster summer travel season. However, numbers are rising. Tourism officials say the number of visitors arising this summer has eclipsed 2019 levels before the pandemic. Most, of course, from the US and the UK. The Prime Minister, Gaston Brown, uh, is with me. Prime Minister, thank you. It is good to, to catch up with you. I am wondering, sir, why only now uh, a vaccination requirement for visitors? I, I've done extensive travels over the last few months and many places now require PCR before, vaccination, even a test when you arrive. Right. Well, you'll be aware that uh, we've been following the vaccination numbers in the United States, uh, Canada and the UK. Those are our principal um, source markets. And we wanted to ensure that um, there was a large cadre of vaccinated persons before we introduced the policy to ensure that there will be no uh, reduction in the visitor arrivals. So it was a matter of timing. A matter of timing, of course. So you, you benefited, didn't you? you? I mean, you kept things. No, you did more than keep the lights on. You actually kept the economy moving, which I think is, is fair enough. I guess it's easy to criticise, but tourism is your lifeblood. Absolutely. So balancing um, lives and livelihoods, um, that was perhaps the most um, significant issue for us. Uh, clearly, we're putting our um, lives and um, the health of our people as a priority, but um, equally we had to make sure that we kept um, the economies in the Caribbean afloat. And as you said, um, you know, we depend heavily on tourism, so we had to make sure that we keep our borders open and um, as a consequence being able to provide for our people. I noticed that you, this mandate now, it's a fairly wide mandate across vast swathes of the economy to be vaccinated. And it is understandable. Uh, I'm guessing, did you have to think twice before doing this? Well, no, because, you know, ultimately we want to make sure that we keep the deaths and hospitalizations down to minimum and also to ensure that we have a safe environment, not only for the locals, but also for visitors alike. So mandating um, vaccinations um, was not a difficult choice because ultimately the only way to restore normalcy is to achieve national immunity. And based on the hesitancy within the Caribbean, which seems to be a little more acute than other places in the world, then we had to definitely um, introduce um, these mandates. Prime Minister, what, does, and, what, do you need, what do you need now? What's the next thing that islands like yours need by way of support to recover from, I mean, obviously, you didn't have the great fiscal surpluses that other countries had. You weren't able, to, in, in a sense, to have the same uh, headroom to use in terms of debt. So what do you now need? Well, as you indicated, um, you know, with our limited resources, um, all of the countries practically ran um, large deficits. They had to borrow extensively, literally exacerbating um, their debt burden. So the issue of um, debt cancellation that we spoke about um, a few months ago, uh, that is still a significant um, requirement for, for countries in the Caribbean. We all have um, unsustainable level of debts and we need assistance um, to reduce our debts through debt um, ca cancellations. And also, um, you know, countries in the Caribbean still require official development, developmental assistance. And, um, you know, you know, we had gotten some support from the IMF, but that support uh, represented less than 10% of the amounts required in order to achieve right. um, a decent uh, and, and fair level of recovery. To be clear, you're talking about debt cancellation, not debt restructuring or debt. No, uh, cancellation. Uh, our, our debt um, overhang you know, is just unsustainable, so we really need some debt relief. And um, also um, increase assistance to help us, um, you know, with the recovery. I mean, even in terms of, um, uh, you know, dealing with um, COVID and strengthening our health infrastructure in order to ensure that we can continue to deal with the new variants that will arise from time to time. Prime Minister, I'm grateful. Thank you. We, we, the, the connection was not the best, but thank you, sir, for taking time and talking to us tonight.